The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. A little change in programming this morning, folks. We are lucky enough to have David Paul from the UK on our show today. And I think, David, you're online right now? Yes, Larry. How are you, sir? Are you well? Very good. David, before you start, I had a question from... Uh, a listener over uh, in uh, the, in Europe today about um, he, he was wondering, he says, I, I see a lot of stuff, but I don't quite understand everything. And I was going to answer him a little bit later this morning on the show here. But um, could you give him your idea of what it you know, you've you've worked with Tom. So you know what it takes to uh, to be a good trader. Plus, you are yourself. Could you give him your views of what he should be looking ahead in the future and what he should be doing? Well, yes, uh, Larry. Uh, good day, everyone. I, I think that uh, uh, if you are trading well, everything that you do hurts. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I think that uh, the good trade is always the hard trade. So uh, uh, I, I'm not saying that it's intellectually difficult. In fact, if anything, the thicker you are, the better. But uh, being able to do what very few other people can do which is defining a trend, buying support in that trend. It always sounds easy when you chat about it, but uh, buying a, a pullback in a trend, whether it's up or down, uh, on both sides, as the market pulls back, for example, uh, that can put the fear of God into you and you end up not, doing it, not buying the uh, pullback at all. So mm -hmm. I think that uh, uh, doing some very, very simple things well starts uh. uh, your position, right. <laughs> start your position uh, with uh, a very small uh, amount of risk, about half a percent of your portfolio. And if the damn thing goes your way, then add to that position uh, and try and build a position. The thing should move your way fairly speedily. If it doesn't move your way fairly speedily, uh, then the best thing to do is to cut. I think that the biggest problem we have in traders is that if a position moves our way, we tend to become pes we tend to become pessimistic very quickly. In that uh, we're scared that the market's going to take our money away, and of course, if the position work goes against us, we tend to be optimistic very quickly. Give it another tick. Give it another tick. Clearly, nobody's ever said that. So, uh, if you become aware of your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, listening. And uh, on your next trade, uh, just watch your thoughts and do your best to try and switch. When, you're, when the market moves your way, try to become as optimistic as you can. And when the market moves against you very quickly, become as pessimistic as you can. Most people get that completely the wrong way around. Uh, so uh, I think it was Mark Douglas said, Larry, you knew much better than I, uh, that Winning traders simply think better, think differently from losing traders. And uh, that's one of the best switches. I've turned so many traders around by just making them aware of their thoughts as the market moves their way or as the market moves against them. Become optimistic when the market moves your way. Become very pessimistic when it goes against you. Just observe those thoughts. You'll turn yourself around very quickly indeed. Much more important uh, than any form of technical pattern, in my humble opinion. And on technical patterns, all you need is one. That's all. If I were mm -hmm. to give anybody uh, any advice, it would be to be a master of the Gartley pattern or the Wyckoff Spring. Look at that one pattern, become a master of that one pattern before you move to anything else. Sorry, 
on a bit of a soapbox, sir. Please excuse me. No, no, no. This was, <laughs> this was, uh, <laughs> this is priceless, actually. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I really appreciate you uh, bringing that to his attention. I'll cover a little bit more a little bit later, but that's exactly what I wanted to cover anyway. So, what do you? Uh, that was really great, David. What What do you have for us today? Well, I, I, I think that. Can you see my screen, uh, Larry? I believe they posted it. Yes, I, I, they yeah, do post okay. it there, so it well, should be okay. Yeah, why is this so darn I, difficult? Yeah, we've got it. Yeah, the, those clusters that I keep talking about, and uh, the clusters are real. You get runs of good luck, you get runs of bad luck. As your hit rate goes up, then the runs of bad luck uh, move away, and the runs of good luck, in fact, occur. But in a 50-50 system, you can make a heap of money with a 50-50 system if you make three or four times more when you're right than you lose when you're wrong. It's just that you get four bad ones in a row every 16. So the clusters are what I use and what Tom uses to build a position. And this all came out of a course I did a lifetime ago on gambling in Vegas. Uh, and uh, uh, this... Is, I think you got a, a question from some people the last time I was on here. Uh, if you play uh, roulette, black and red, in other words, the market can go up, the market can go down, and there's one little white ball. You guys have two white balls. Uh, I simply, if I get a red uh, and uh, I win, if the red comes up, then I double it initially. And then just add $10 every time you get a cluster of reds. And uh, if you keep that going, uh, even if the whole thing falls apart, you end up with a, a profitable position. Uh, I applied the, exactly the same thinking uh, to the market, where I would start off with a small position. Uh, if the darn thing goes my way relatively quickly, and I must admit, Larry, that's a little uh, uh, subjective. Uh, in that uh, I like to see a market move my way very quickly indeed. If it doesn't move my way quickly, then I get fed up with it. God, I hate sitting in them and they're going nowhere. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of the Wyckoff stroke the Gartley. It's sudden death. You're getting in, as Mr. Wyckoff said, at the danger point where the risk mm -hmm. is smallest and the, the reward is largest. Wyckoff called that the danger point. He didn't use the fibs uh, in his analysis at all. Uh, so uh, if you work through that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just uh, do the sums. If you, uh, in fact, would like me to send that uh, to you, I'll give you my email address. I'll send you the PowerPoint for the greatest of pleasure, anybody that's interested. I've got two stocks, Larry, where you could apply this to. Okay. The first, the first one's Tyson Foods. Now, Larry, you may be aware uh, that pretty much every pig in Southeast Asia is dead. Uh, yeah, I uh, <laughs> so there is a, there is a great there is a great the people people who produce protein their margins have gone up significantly now I was in North Carolina on Monday just got back and uh, the uh, Tyson food truck went past me uh, I added this is earnings per share at the bottom which we get from Vector Vest I traded this share uh, from the bottom of that. Uh, five wave falling wedge. Uh, I think you would call it three drives uh, mm -hmm. to a, to a low, and it was a textbook 120. No, I think that was one. The bottom was 1618 of the last run, but it moved up the page very nicely. Hey, hey hold uh, it, David. We got to pay a few bills. Could you stay with us and be right back? I'll be there, Larry. All right, thank you. We'll be right back, folks, with David Paul. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with David Paul about Tyson Foods. You want to continue, David? Yes, Larry, thanks. Uh, I, I think that the, this share needs to pull back a little bit, guys, and uh, if it came back to that uh, 618, let me get my pen out here. Uh, if it comes back to that 618 and there's an old high there, uh, that's about eight, or slightly under 85. If I saw it coming back under 85, and uh, I, I love outside days. If I saw an outside day there, that would be first prize. Uh, outside days uh, occur after uh, the smartest money have run the stocks. And uh, then I would consider buying a small position there. As it moves my way, I'll add to that position. And that's what I do. I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, do I know this is going to be a winning trade? Of course I don't. Uh, but uh, uh, it's the Gartley pattern has been very, very kind to me. Thank you for teaching it to me, Larry. Uh, very kind to me over the years. So uh, all you need is one pattern. Uh, the work of Wyckoff and Gartley very similar, and I think it was you, Gar Larry, who told me that they actually knew each other way back, uh, many years back. Uh, the, the second share that I'm looking at uh, is a 5G share, and uh, this share is a bit of a fallen angel, but it's pulled back, and uh, Larry, I think it's being uh, XLNX. It's being accumulated beautifully over the last month as a weekly chart at that 618 which is also this old high. Uh, uh, earnings per share is rising strongly, and uh, there was a patented violation in this company. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm keeping my eye on that. That could be an incredibly good uh, trade if that moves. Again, tiny position, add to the thing. Now, my two other 5G stocks are Teradyne and Skyworks. And uh, Teradyne and Skyworks, uh, both of them, 
I've added to now twice on the way up, and they're going quite nicely indeed. This one is lagging the 5G, but um, I see next year, uh, 2020, is going to be a big year for 5G. So uh, that little stock looks very good to me, uh, based on uh, both fundamental and technical numbers. Uh, so uh, nothing very clever, folks. Pretty much just one pattern. Uh, uh, looking for a trend, looking for earnings per share growing, whether we're, we as technicians like earnings or not, uh, the whole of Wall Street is looking for them. Uh, so uh, those are just uh, two shares that I'm looking at at the minute where I feel uh, we could get in at the danger point where the risk is least and the possibility of a big, big reward uh, is out there. And uh, start with a small position, normally about half a percent of my kitty, that's the risk. And then add to that as it moves my way. Uh, add once, twice, maybe three times. As long as you can add once, then you're well ahead of the game, okay, of everybody else. Just remember uh, what old Charlie D, the bond trader, says, that when you're trading well, everything you do hurts. Such a wonderful expression. Uh, so, um, uh, and uh, a little bit of an advert. Next week, uh, at Vector Vest, we're holding a financial summit. Uh, and uh, it's a one day, uh, and uh, if you go to vectorvest.com forward slash summit, you can have a look at that. Well, it's a great, they do, they do a terrific, uh, I mean, it's a great, a great program, it really is. Uh, and I want to thank you for being on the show again, and we'll have you on after the first of the year, and you hit it spot on today, my friend. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Larry. Uh, and you have a, if I don't hear, a, speak to you. Have a wonderful Christmas and everybody listening. Uh, have a great time, folks. Uh, I look forward to seeing you next year, speaking to you next year. David, thank you very much. And I'll be seeing you in the spring, so looking forward to that, too. Uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping uh, that we'll get together in the spring. Uh, I think we're going to Copenhagen together, from what I hear. Yes, it looks like it, and I, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So may well, God bless, my good. friend, and happy holidays to you. Cheers. Cheers, Larry. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, David Paul. Well, let's let's continue on with what we were talking about is uh, you know learning to trade and stuff. But I want to send a uh, a nice pattern here. This is the British pound. It happens to be a 15-minute chart sent to us by one of our followers. And when uh, Mr. Paul, Dr. Paul, you know, compliments me about Gartley, let's compliment Harold McKinley Gartley because he's the one that brought that pattern to us back in 1937. And uh, he was a, uh, you know, of course, he, he didn't, he, he died 30 years later. He didn't die till 1969. But he lived during the era of all those guys, and they were technicians, and they met in New York, and they all knew one another for sure. And uh, that's a real interesting. I was fortunate enough back in, 1976, when I went to work for Drexel, they sent me back for orientation that first week in August of 76. And one of the things that I was able to do was, because I was a big fan of Jesse Livermore, was to go up to his office on the 35th floor of the Chrysler building, where they had the chalkboards and the ladders and all the stuff, just like you see in the pictures. And it was actually still there. It was in a museum, and a semi-museum. It didn't cost to get in but you could go in and look at it and stuff. And real estate was pretty cheap at that time, so no one rented the place. So it was uh, it was very, very interesting. But anyway, took a look at this. is the British pound trade. And what, what, if you just look at this, folks, this is 15 minutes, and you can see the symmetry here. Starting at 9 o'clock in the morning, you see an A, B leg, and then you see another one, A, B leg, A, B leg, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, all the way up. And all of these retracements, look how similar they are in time, and look how similar they are in price. Now, that's one. One of the things that you want to do is if you're going to try to, you know, learn to do this, this is a good way to do it. Let's just bring that one step forward, okay? Let's say, let's say you wanted to learn how to trade gold, and you looked at gold here. Let's get this gold chart up and just look at it just uh, right off the bat, just like anybody else would. You can see just a regular gold chart, and the person who just looks at this say, well, it's moving higher, but I don't really see anything that um, really, really catches my eye. And then you could say that. You can see the swings up and stuff, but, you know, maybe there's nothing there. I don't know. But if you took it a little bit 
little bit further, like looking at it in the direction of the pound, take a look at it, and what we'll do is we'll draw in a few, few very small patterns here. We're just going to draw in the uh, very simple ones. You'll notice that uh, on the 10th, you see the pullback that we had into the 11th? You see how it came down? It stopped, you know, right at a 61% retracement at 1467. We've we've uh, focused on that in the newsletter about three different times how important that lever was. And then we had a really nice strong move and then we had a pullback. But look at it just a little bit further. Okay, let's just go one step further and just say, okay, what really happened? And if you take a look at this, you're going to be able to see something that I think is uh, enlightening and you you have to learn this yourself. You you know, you look at this. You see those little red boxes? They're exactly equal. Look at their equal in time and price. I mean, the market goes up, it pulls back to a 61% retracement. Then it goes up and it pulls back to a 382 retracement, which we know can be extremely bullish. And look what happens when it breaks out of 1483. It really, it runs $9 without a heartbeat. You know, I mean, this is what you want to do. And, uh, you know, if you're following David's idea, you buy your first one down there, you buy your second one there at 1477, and now you basically got you know, two trades on that are kicking serious kabuki. So that's what you want to do is learn something closely and learn it well. If you remember that movie trading uh, 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 city, city uh, slickers, or Curly said one thing, one thing, do one thing really well. We'll be right back. We're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, Mr. Z was mentioning about Jack Palance in the movie City Slickers. I was fortunate enough to have Jack uh, as a client uh, at Drexel Burnham. Uh, an interesting story behind that. Uh, if, you, if you folks like uh, cowboy movies, uh, Jack Palance, Lee Van Cleef, and Jack Elam. You might not remember Jack Elam, but uh, he was the guy that looked like he had one bad eye, a real crotchety guy. But they all lived on. They lived within a block of each other out in the San Fernando Valley. They were not in the Hollywood group. They had nothing to do with that. They were just old country boys that made it pretty good. They saved all their money, didn't live extravagant, but were really super nice people. Uh, Lee Van Cleef was also a customer at Drexel. I heard, but he never did come into the office. But uh, Jack Palance came in uh, quite a bit, not to see me. We had a, he had a small commodity account with me. He's very small, but uh, really super nice guy. And uh, I remember one day. We were in there, and they were teasing him because he was in his 70s then, and he was in great shape. And uh, by golly, he was uh, he did 20 push-ups, and he did five of them one-handed, which was, I mean, that was really, really quite impressive. But he was a really super nice guy and uh, very, very friendly. Okay, he only did a couple of uh, comedy uh, movies, but uh, the one was the uh, the Robertsons, I think, with uh, Michael Keaton. But he was a he was definitely a cowboy, that's for sure. Okay, let's move on to a couple of things here. We've had the Fed acting. Let's just look and see what happened uh, during the Fed time. We'll just get this up here this last night because here's what we were looking at. After the Fred came up, you'll see uh, we had a, a beautiful ABCD pattern here. Uh, this is the NASDAQ. If you, you want to defy human nature and do the work yourself, do the ABCD pattern with your uh, E-mini S&P, and you'll see right there at the 3153 level, we were making a point D. Now, the, the NASDAQ did not make a new high from December 2nd, folks. It missed it by three points. Then it, it's broken about, oh, 50 points since that time. So whether that is going to be, you know, uh, or did he do those one-arm push-ups on Johnny Carson? Yeah, he probably did. Yeah. Anyway, he's he just a super guy. And, you know, in fact, of all the people, you know, some of these guys are dead, so I guess I could talk about them. There were only a few people that we met at Drexel that were really a pain in the, in the you know what. One of them was uh, Chuck Connors, you know, the cowboy, uh, the rifleman. Gosh, he had, he was such an ego, he was an egomaniac. And the other one was, uh, 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 Rob, Robert Vaughn, remember from The Man from Uncle and The, the, the Magnificent Seven? Both of those, those guys really, they didn't want to have anything to do with the public except for the girl part. I mean, they uh, they were just really very, very conceited. All the others were just as actually just really super nice, normal guys. I mean, it was, uh, and girls too, you know. That's amazing. I, I never talk about some of the lady clients that I had, but uh, I did have a Juliet Prowse. Uh, was a very good, and I'm trying to think of the girl. Oh, the girl from not. Oh, oh, what was her name? Oh, boy, really knockout too. I can't remember. Suzanne Plachet, and uh, when one other one. Uh, I said Julia Powell. I'll, I'll think of it anyway. That's. No need to name drop. This is baloney. Okay, let's move on here. We talked about the gold. Uh, we want to talk about next, since we have that election going on, we want to keep an idea because we're going to have some probably rocking and rolling today. Nobody thinks that the uh, Labor Party has a chance, but statistically they do. And uh, unfortunately, the odds makers have made them 40 to 1. In other words, if you bet $1 that uh, Labor was going to win and they're a 40 to 1 underdog, you would be paid $40. That is unbelievable. Just to give you an example, with Brexit, the odds were 19 to 1, and we happened to be in London right around that time, and uh, our very dear friend was uh, making a uh, substantial bet on Brexit at 19 to 1, and uh, he had some statistics behind it, and so he said, that's what I'm going to do, and he did it, and he is doing the same thing with Labor today, even though it's 40 to 1, that's what he's going to be looking at it. Okay, Kansas City, if time, 136 now, we're talking about Kansas City, we're talking about coffee. Let's get it up here. 
I believe we've talked about this before, but let's see if we've got it up to date here. Wow, it's jumped off the roof here. You know what? I haven't updated this. Uh, let's just quickly. Uh, I, I did it yesterday, uh, Monday, but I didn't do it now. But let's just look to see where we are here. See, we had that double top, potential double top. But once we went above 128, you know, we really took off to the upside. And I did focus on that when we went up to the 127. I believe the 127 is right there, Bob at the uh, 136, 137 level. Mr. Z could probably, uh, you know, do that uh, right. Oh, you know what, by talking about this is my show. I can do whatever I want. Let's get this chart up for you. Hold on just a second. Only take a minute and we'll have it ready for you. Uh, coffee, coffee, coffee. That's the problem is I got this new data service and it's a real, it's not as much fun as I'd like for it to be. Yeah, there we are. We're up there almost. Yeah, here we go. We can see this pretty close. Yeah, we've we've already made it above the uh, the 127. It's at 1.33, which is close. Hold on. Let me get this up here so you'll be able to see it here, folks. Yes, it's at resistance level. In fact, we're below it right now. Well, no, we're right there. We're right 36. So uh, I, you know, I first of all, look how many days in a row you're up here, folks. Oh, my goodness. We've been up uh, the eight, since the 18th of November. Here we are. We've been up a month. We've been up 30 days without a correction. That's what we called uh, in the trade uh, oversold. <laughs> so keep that in mind. I don't see uh, – oh, it didn't post. Sorry. Just to get it up here. I'll get it up here make sure. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. Okay. All right. Just give me one second here. Uh, I, the only way I can get it to post correctly is to send it to myself. Give me a second here. Get that out. And I'm, you know what? Since we're looking at coffee, let's just do it the right way. Let's get it the weekly up here, too, to see where we are here on the weekly. And then we will uh, have a, something to talk about here because I know you get tired of listening to these old uh, jaws move up and down. Okay, let's get up here and take a look at the first one here in the coffee. And we're opening here at stocks, probably higher, like always. Let's look at the weekly here. Here's the weekly in copper uh, coffee. Let's get up here. All right, there you go. Something happened, someone said. That usually is the case. That's the weekly in coffee. And then the next one, uh, yeah, well, it's it's been going higher all along, so everybody's bullish. Okay, that was the, the coffee on the weekly. Let's get the coffee up here. On the uh, daily, hold on here a second, and we'll get this up here. All right, thank you, Al, for letting me know. Uh, it's a minute here. Um, well, my beepers are going off uh, quite a bit, so hold on a second here. All right, now you can see. Oh, we're getting very close to a big deal in China. Boy, what new? Boy, that is really uh, breaking news. Wow. <laughs> oh boy, what a what a Hold on just a second, folks. I got to figure out why my uh, uh, oh the crude oil is rallying. That's good. That's what we're going to, we we went up and we oh my goodness we've really rallied. We rallied 50 handles here in the Nasdaq and we made new highs now in the uh, in the S and P. And that means the bonds are probably going down. We've got crude oil coming up above the 78% uh, level. So it must have been a pretty big uh, important thing uh, about the. Uh, about the China thing would be my guess, but you know I can't really tell. Well, we're really moving now. We're up. Uh, we've moved 60 handles in the S and in the Nasdaq, folks, in the last 10 minutes. Wow, no, the last six minutes. So these are really uh, jumping up quite a bit. Okay, let's see what other one that we're watching here. Uh, okay, we'll take a little break, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay. Okay, folks, we're going to uh, take a little trip down at the old E-mini S&P lane here for just a second to see what we got going on. Oh, we got that up and running. Move this over. We talk about some numbers that we did before the numbers came out. And let's just see where we are now. We got to make it up to date. Here we are. And we'll see if these numbers are working today. You come in and take a look at this. Here's your ABCD pattern. You'll notice here the pullback that we had uh, this morning was almost exactly 382 to the tick at uh 3139 and we just went up and made 3164 that was an ABCD pattern starting on December the 5th it was also a 1.27 expansion of that move so if you're going to short it you short it and you put your stop at 3167 you don't have to risk very much that's the way it looks like. That's what patterns do, folks. They don't really tell you the darn things. By the way, speaking of Christmas, speaking of Christmas, hold on, I hear something. Oh, my goodness, it's Santa up on the roof. Hold on, Santa, just a second. Santa is saying make sure that you do some things for your people around you, that uh, the homeless or whatever you have. I like the veterans myself uh, during the Christmas time. It's a real – some of these people are in really bad shape, folks. So, so do what you can if you could. That would really be a, a good thing. This would make me uh, very, very happy. My, my children have uh, – when they were growing up, we, uh, we, you know, we were able to do just about whatever we wanted. But when about the age of about 10 and 11, both of my daughters decided they didn't want to have Christmas presents. We had small, one small gift for everybody, sometimes a little bigger than it should be, but there weren't a lot of gifts. And all of the stuff that we did decide to do, we, we tried to help the homeless. And of course, when we were in Los Angeles, we were using the gospel mission. And uh, I was really pleased that my daughters have still continued that through all these years. But, you know, it's not, the, you know, there's an old saying that I used to see in Los Angeles. It's uh, the man who dies with the most toys wins. Ha, ha, ha. Let me tell you about that one, Bubba. That is not the way the world works. So you can't take any of that money with you. So if you can, you know, help everybody that uh, needs a little bit of help. But uh, 
it's tough out there. You know, we're looking at some real serious stuff going on in the world, and it's really very, very difficult uh, to do that. Here was another one. If you like ABCD patterns, this is sort of Christmas Day here at uh, early Christmas. If we'll look here. By the way, we do have Tom Hugard will be our guest tomorrow. He's on holiday, but he's going to come on to visit us. Here's our uh, treasury bond market. You can see the big ABCD pattern that we had, the three drive pattern down at the bottom at 157. We rallied two handles up to 159. And believe me, folks, if that's a four-day rally, all it can do is to do that is not very good. And now we're way down into the way below the 158 level. And it looks like we're pulling back into that 157.26 level to see if it's going to hold that. But breaking below 157 now would be uh, very, very negative uh, for the Treasury bonds. And how could Treasury bonds be going down when we've got uh, interest rates are going to be going down forever? So what they always talk about. That's our deal with the uh, Brexit, not Brexit, but with the uh, negative interest rates. So that's uh, one of the things that we got to keep in mind. I haven't covered the uh, the FTSE yet. Let's get that four-hour FTSE up here because it was making a, don't trade this one, never have, but if we get this up here, you'll be able to see it. Uh, there we go. You'll see uh, we held right at that uh, little below the 61% retracement double bottom, and it's held relatively well. But this is election time, folks. So if something goes wrong with those elections, that's it. By the way, that Brexit that Brexit thing, uh, you know, after the polls had closed five hours, they were still saying that uh, it was a no, that Brexit was a, a no deal. But you know, when they woke up in the morning, it was a, a big landslide. So the way they count votes over there, probably like the way they do over here, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> it's like, you know, remember the in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And I think all those guys that do those polls are certainly doing that. But uh they, they, you know, it, it ain't over till it's over. That's the bottom line. Sorry to mumble around, but I'm trying to uh, give you some information that I think might be interesting for you today. Uh, okay, let's move on to uh, one of the other questions about the hogs. The hogs have at least started to hold that bottom at 72. No question about it. It's got a really good chance to do it. There's one other one that really is interesting here. And let's get it up here. And I think it's getting ready to uh, head south. And that is uh, Amazon. Let's just get this up here. You'll be able to see here they're almost ready to break break lower. And Amazon is probably sharply higher today. But if we get below that 1740 in Amazon, I know that's not a that's a pretty big number to to trade off of. But uh, that's it. When I was first trading. Uh, I didn't trade any stocks, but the most expensive stock on the stock exchange back in the uh, mid-60s was uh, Superior Oil. That was J John Getty's company, and it was uh, selling for uh, roughly $1,200 a share. And uh, that was just one of the ones that uh, I remember from back in the old days. Uh, let's get another one here. Here's another one that looks, because uh, these FANG stocks, they just don't look, a lot of them just don't look very good, folks. Get this up here. See that? There we are at 307. The other one, of course, was Apple, and we've been as high as 272. There should be some resistance up there in the Apple, but we'll see see how these things have uh, uncovered here, what we're looking at here. Okay, not much is going on. Let me see. We did we did make the high up there at that S&P was at uh, 62.75. That's not very much, so you don't have to risk very much there if you're interested in it. And we always are. So that's, well, we've had a nice break in gold. My goodness, we've broken $16 in gold from that uh, big pattern up here. Let's take a quick look here where we should. Uh, hey, that's very interesting. We, oh, we took out the old high. Look at that. We take out the old high by a dollar. Look, the old high was 14 90 And what did we do? We went up to 14 uh, 91.60, and we immediately dropped 15 16 $17 already in the gold market. Let's just see what the first retracement is. The 61% retracement comes in at 74, and 74 would be $17 down, correct? That's the half the harmonic number. So it's really important that gold holds this 14 uh, 74 level if it's going to hold. And right now, it certainly doesn't look like it uh, wants to do that. But let's take a quick look at it on the charts here at TFNN, and maybe we can get a uh, 
a quick synopsis to see whether that's going to uh, happen or not. If you're asking me whether I was selling gold up at that level, uh, no, sir, I'm not. I was just doing this show, and that's all I was doing, was just trying to do the show here to give you an idea of what we're looking at. And I just posted the chart. Here it is. Let's get it up here on the uh, thing here. You'll be able to see here. There you go. There it is right there. Uh, if you get the gold videos, we were saying that gold was going to have some difficulty there at the 1490. That was very important. Remember, folks, the platinum uh, made that big objective that we were talking about. We, po we posted it uh, quite a few times. Uh, over this last couple of days in platinum because ruby is really interesting to it. And we get up here and you'll be able to see. Hold on just a second. This is not the one I wanted, but it's close enough. Hold on just a second because we were looking up. That's the wrong chart. Can't do that one. I don't know where it is, but I can't put it up there. But if you look at your charts, like uh, 21 says, defy human nature, do the work yourself. You'll see a beautiful ABCD there in the platinum at uh, 943. I don't know how much you got above that, but 943 was the number. We'll take a break here, 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, I've had a request to take a look at what the old AI program is showing. Here's the uh, basically the forecast. You see if this is correct, we should be topping here at about 10, 15, in about 25 minutes. Uh, use your own judgment whether it works or not. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but we'll see what's going on. I haven't heard anything about the tweets. Is this definitely a done deal? Uh, please tell me, Ruby, where is the platinum? Is uh, where, where, I, I don't have the platinum up to date, Ruby. I'm sorry, I can't pull it up right now. I, I'd like to know two things, Ruby. What's the price right now, and what was the high that we've seen here? Uh, we shouldn't have been any higher than four than nine forty. Okay, it's nine thirty eight. Okay, but what was the uh, what was the high here? That that. Uh, I should have been the January platinum was what I was looking at. It was 943, so I don't know what that is. But that was a big A B C D up there. Okay, that's good. That was when it is that the last price or the high? Okay, that's very very close. So that that should pretty much be it. Uh, we'll see. The 951. We should be a great deal lower than that right now. I would believe, but we'll we'll have to. Uh, you know, wait and see whether that's going to be uh, some verified account uh, 19 minutes ago. Very close to big. They want it, and so do we. Oh, dear. Well, that's all baloney. I, I <laughs> oh, dear. Someday they're going to write a, uh, a, uh, a sequel to this. I don't know what it's going to be. It reminds me almost like the dot-com stuff that we had back in, uh, in 2000 where these people would come out with uh, – projected sales, not even earnings, but projected sales would be up and the stocks would double. I mean, that was the that was the craziest time I've ever seen in the markets uh, during that 1998 to 2000 bubble, uh, which was pretty much like we had with the uh, blockchain stuff and the cryptocurrencies. So remember, folks, it's holiday season. Do some nice things for nice people and uh, try to help them out if you can. Don't have to do a lot. Just do a little. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.